I've spent far too much time inside lately. I think I need to go camping. See you later, Doc. You're in charge. summer in the sunny coast so we haven't been camping much it gets a bit hot here at night in summer so we thought we'd head out for a night cook some food film some content play some cards and hang out We're in the sunny coast hinterland in a secret camping spot that no one's found yet, so I'm not going to share where it is. The fire's lit and we're going to start cooking some dinner soon. I really enjoy traveling like this. It's um, just as much about the journey and the gear for me as it is the actual spot, even though it is pretty special with some of the locations we end up. Um, but I think people don't get adventurous enough when, they, uh, when they're cooking and camping. So uh, I'm going to try and make some gnocchi. I'm going to roast those potatoes in my Dutch oven and we'll see how it turns out. So we're gonna start with making the ragu first. So just dice or slice up one onion, uh, dice up one carrot and a couple of sticks of celery, about five garlic cloves. Now dice up your beef. I've got some beef rump here. You want about 200 grams per person, about two centimeter dice. So in your Dutch oven, get it nice and hot, a bit of oil and sweat off your veg. Once your veg is sweated off, then you can add your beef and sweat that down a bit. And that's thunder in the background, this could get interesting. Uh, once your meat's got a bit of colour on there, uh, you can add your tin tomato, um, so it's tomato paste, and about 500 ml of chicken or beef stock. Now you want this to simmer really slow and low for uh, three hours if you can, um, but you can probably speed it up to an hour and a half if you want to, but the lower and slower, the more uh, moist your meat's going to be at the end. So while that's cooking, the potatoes are going to take about an hour or an hour and 20 minutes in the Dutch oven. Just give them a few pokes so the moisture can come out. And make sure you're using a trivet in the bottom of your Dutch oven. So lid on uh, over your fire and get some coals on top of that lid. Now make sure you're attending to your ragu every now and then, making sure it's not sticking to the bottom and it's not boiling too much and try and control that temperature as much as you can. All right, so we've got the beef ragu going on in here, and I've got the potatoes roasting in this Dutch oven here. The trick is with the Dutch ovens is to get a lot of heat from the top, and that's what creates the convection like, a, like your oven at home. So um, even right now, it's probably a little bit too much heat underneath, but you want a lot of hot coals on the top, and that's how you get the, the oven-like effect. So these potatoes have been going for about 35 minutes at this point. I'm just going to check them and roll them over. So they're only about half cooked at this point. Um, get the lid back on and some more heat on top of that Dutch oven. All right, so here we are with the potatoes done. They took about an hour and 10 minutes in the total. So you're going to pull those out of the Dutch oven and put them in a bowl. You can set them aside for sort of 10 minutes and let them cool a bit. Um, not everyone has asbestos hands like our chefs do, so I appreciate that. So split them down the middle, scoop out all the flesh that you can, um, and then give that a light mash. Um, and at home you can use your masher, but I just had a fork. Uh, in goes three egg yolks and a good shaving of parmesan, uh, and uh, one cup of flour to start to get incorporated. Dust your board or your table with flour and roll out your dough and you want to knead it lightly. You don't want to knead it too much. So divide your dough up now and roll it into a sort of thumb length uh, pieces and then you're going to cut that into a sort of a square shape. Uh, onto a dusted plate and then into hot salty boiling water. These are going to take about five or six minutes to cook. Um, once they float to the top, leave it another minute, drain them off and into your ragu. Tear some basil in there, a bit more parmesan if you like, and there you have it. One super delicious and very achievable camp meal. Time to make some coffee. 
Oh man, three more than twenty bucks in <laughs> to get to the top. This is my favourite part of camping. First thing in the morning, making coffee. Sun's just come up. There you go. Hope you enjoyed coming along our little camping trip. Please chuck us a like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, the guy who took the drone shots and some of the videography, his name's Just Mitch. Uh, I'll link his Instagram in the bio. He's a really fantastic photographer. Go chuck him a follow. See you later.